Welcome back to Boring Reviews. Boring Land. Oh, Come just on. kidding. Blasphemer. Oh, Hello, my. Boring Review Nation. Kind of pointless. We know all things. All right. Welcome back to Boring Reviews. Nick here. Joe, you there? And we are checking out a new comedian that continues to be requested to us. People say that we will really like Mickey Flanagan. So we're going to go ahead and check out Mickey Flanagan. Which one are we checking out today, Jody? Struggling to be a grown-up. Now, I'm very curious as to why people think that they would... I mean, it was just one person, but why that person thinks that this would suit us well. So I'm excited to find out. What, He's if, a, what if they don't think we're grown up? Not this specific video, but this comedian. Oh. I'm definitely not fully grown up. Well, they're always like in a saying lot of ways. They're so shocked that we're teachers because we're so dumb. So I was thinking maybe you know, struggling to be grown up, like oh we're gosh. not smart enough. Yes, we are. We are not intelligent at <laughs> all. But we're gonna go ahead and check out this video here. Thank you so much for requesting. We appreciate that. If you have any other videos from this comedian or anyone else, please get those requests in. And if you like this video, please don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you can be aware of our next uploaded video. All right. Let's see what this is all about. Here we go. Because we had the little boy, right? And, he, you know, I've done a lot of childcare with him. <laughs> and uh, it's quite hard, the childcare, because my wife's very middle class. He's quite an organic little boy. <laughs> you know, everything's checked and double checked. So she goes out, she goes, there's some activities on the side. And I've left him some organic raisins. <laughs> oh, lovely. Well done. <laughs> we'll crack on with that. <laughs> and when she goes out, I say to him, go and get yourself two fingers of Kit Kat <laughs> and a little glass of orange juice. I say, don't worry with that. <laughs> when he comes back, we put on ITV4 and we watch on the buses together. Because <laughs> I want him to know where he comes from. <laughs> He loves it. He loves a bit of on the buses. But he's got no concept of dishonesty. So I say to him after, don't say nothing to mummy about the bus programme and the Kit Kat and that. And he goes, nah, nah, I won't say nothing to <laughs> He's walked in the kitchen the other day. Bold as brass, walked in the kitchen. <laughs> Looked at the wife. <laughs> They said it couldn't happen, people. They said a comedian could not get a laugh from Blakey in 2011. <laughs> you saw it here, people. You were part of history. <laughs> Gotta keep him alive, Blakey. So me and the wife love each other, but she gets a bit upset about my immaturity. She says, is you immature? She said, you're peeping out the curtains. You're showing people your cock. You don't say hello to no one. <laughs> this grown-up bit quite hard to deal with. I'm not a monster, but I want to have a laugh. And that, adult life is so dull, isn't it? Yeah, so it she is. goes out, and I'm walking about. What's going on here? And the phone goes. And every fibre in my being tells me. Everything I know to be right and wrong informs me. I must not answer that phone like a Chinese man. <laughs> But in some mind your language corridor of my mind, <laughs> some Benny Hill room where the door was never quite closed properly, <laughs> I think that'll be a laugh. <laughs> Answer the phone like a Chinese person. <laughs> and I can feel myself doing it. I'm having an out-of-body experience. I'm floating above myself. <laughs> I'll do it, I'll say. I'll do it. Breakaway conversation for authenticity. Ting tang ying yao ma. Ting tang tang ying yao ma. No, she goes ba ba. She like a pamper in it. So this guy's inner conscience tells him not to do it. But he does it. Not only does he do it. But he decides to add it to the yep. next level. Yep. Now, this is on a phone call, not like broadcasted to the whole world, but oh. now he's telling the whole world. 
But I mean, that's just how it is. It's like, I want to be good, but I can't for even five seconds. And I'm going to go above and beyond. And all I can think of is, what if you really are like saying something like really inappropriate and you don't realize it? You know what I mean? Like, even though he's <laughs> making up gibberish, thing. it's gibberish. But what is like one thing in there really is? Something. I think he's thinking about that. No. <laughs> he's, no. To have a laugh. No. No, she goes bar bar. <laughs> she got a pamper in it. <laughs> Ta ta. <laughs> the wife comes home. She says, "What you doing?" She says, "Why are people in work asking me if I'm married to a Japanese man?" <laughs> <laughs> so, I don't know. Maybe it's because I'm an asshole. <laughs> So she said, we need to talk. I thought, oh, oh here we go. Yep. Now, when I was at university, I read philosophy for a year, and I read Kierkegaard. He's a Danish philosopher. He believes we live our lives moving forward, understanding by looking back. Because living a life and understanding it occupies separate dimensions, because your experiences always overwhelm you before they can be processed. <laughs> nice. So, I rejigged some Kierkegaard on her. Well, I've got to put this to bed. I want to listen to Desert Island This have a cup of coffee. I turned to her and said, listen, sister. Listen, I think you'll find the people who take the longest to grow up on this planet ultimately end up the finest adults, all right? <laughs> Job done. <laughs> I turn away, enjoying the victory. She's on the ropes. That was good. She's thinking, that was good. The kitchen windows only missed it up. I couldn't help myself. I just had to draw a cock on it. <laughs> <laughs> and to show her I was trying, I didn't put any spunk coming out at the top. No, 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 no. Oh my goodness gracious. No, no, I'm sorry. I think I would like, I think I would go crazy. If things like that really happened, I'd be like, no, nah, I'm done. <laughs> But doesn't that happen like in real life to certain different degrees? Yes. Because I mean, I consider myself immature. I'm also kind of serious, I'm kind of bipolar in that way. But you gotta have, like he says, gotta have a laugh, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. The thing about answering the phone like you're a Chinese man or you're a Japanese man, whatever he was going for there. The thing that I find hilarious is the fact that she has co-workers that thinks that she's married to someone from Japan. <laughs> to me, I find that hilarious. And just that idea of like, I've always thought to myself, like, would it be fun to like go out in the public, go to the theaters, go to the restaurant, whatever it is, and act like you have a limp the whole time? No. Or act like you're, you're deaf or this or that. Not because I'm making fun of people that have those ailments, but just to see, can you trick someone into thinking that you're that thing? But then I think to myself, but there are real people that have those yes. different ailments or disabilities or whatever. But that's how my mind works, like trying to trick people, right? Just trying to prank them, if you will. All I know is that the more that I teach preteens and teenagers, the more immature I feel like I am. Because I have <laughs> learned that as I teach, every single thing you say can be totally flipped around to be sexual. Like yeah. everything everything and at first i was like what are you laughing at like i did not understand and i was like really really and so now like when i'll talk things i'll say and i'll be like oh my gosh oh my gosh please nobody say anything like nobody laugh nobody nothing like we know joke have a poem that we started reading and it's part of this book and the child the poem is mom doesn't like us eating out i read that three times and each time i was like no 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 nope. nope. and i would say overwhelmingly is probably mostly guys mostly mm -hmm. boys and I remember being that boy. But the thing is, I think that's funny. This is the thing about maturity, okay? This is, this is uh, you know, Mr. Nick here teaching you for a second. The thing about maturity is this. As you get older, yes, you do get more mature. But you still hold on to some of those immature things that you think are funny. And they're never going to stop being funny. Yeah. Whether it's poops or farts or whatever it is. Those are still going to be funny to you even if you're much older. But the things about maturity is now you are mature enough to hold down a job. And you pay for the bills. And you make sure the house is running. You make sure the kids have clothes. And all that kind of stuff. But you're still going to laugh at that kind of nonsense. <laughs> yep. And well, so it's just the evolution. You couldn't imagine what my classroom looked like when in that same book... He talked about hitting his brother in the head with a jock strap. My gosh, the kids lost their mind. <laughs> I mean, it's just for so many different reasons.
This guy was pretty funny. He I, was funny. I love the tone to his voice, not just the accent, because Americans were always enthralled by Me any so. different type of accent. Yep. But I liked the tone of his voice. I thought it was it lent itself even funnier to the the comedy and the things that he's saying. Um, being someone who he says himself is more like a kid, being a father is also kind of hilarious. But I did enjoy his comedy here. I like this set. Let us know if there's other ones you want us to check out. But the last thing I want to say is, as someone who likes to goof around sometimes when I am being a little less serious, when you hear someone else goof around the same way, you kind of hear how obnoxious it is. Yeah, yeah. And then it makes you think like, oh, maybe that's how people view me. That's why I get so many eyes rolling. Doesn't stop me. <laughs> Let me know if you have that same exact experience. Like you see someone else, you hear someone else say something, you think, that's not even funny, that's stupid. And then you think to yourself, oh, I would make that same exact joke. Well, and then I have a question for you. His wife is very like organic and oh, blah, gosh. blah. And he was like, here's your two Kit Kats and your orange juice. Um, which one are we? I don't think we're full blown organic. Okay. But I, I would say, and maybe I don't know if it's a woman thing in general or if it's a woman of 2023. I have no idea. Or it's just a small pocket. But I would I can see some similarities with you in that mom making sure. Like we were at the we were at IKEA today. And like not putting she didn't want them to put their heads on the pillows that were there when they were testing out the mattresses because there could be light. Yeah, she's imagining like, oh bed bugs. Gosh. And it could very well. You put a UV light on that bad boy and you're like, it oh would my be gosh. Disgusting. But for me, I'm just like, I'm not even gonna think about that. And I'm not, not even gonna go there. Okay? Because for me, the chances of them contracting some horrible fungus disease where they turn to the last of us type zombies is very very minimal and so you have that kind of thing the organic you're not full-fledged there no. but anyways off on a tangent once I again i just need to know with that being said don't forget to like and subscribe and we'll see you next time adios